Hey guys, it's Carrie, and I'm back with our third uh, Barbie color reveal video. I don't know which one we're going to get, but it's going to hopefully be one of not these two. Uh, the number I found on top of this is 3179. So, um, it's going to be one of the five girls on the bottom. This is series one, so... Like I was saying before in another video, apparently there's a Series 2 coming out. Ah, uh, uh, the other one came out so good. But, uh, either, anyhow. So there's seven surprises inside. Um, how, how do they count surprises? So you have, one, the hair color. Two, the makeup. Three, the skirt. Four the shoes, five the wig, six the sponge, and seven the doll. So yeah, I guess that's seven. So here is our girl uh, pre-dunked. What we're going to do though is we're going to uh, fill our, we're going to take the girl out and all of her stuff out and see this little line here? There's a line that you can probably barely see it with my light here. There's a line, a little drop. That's where you fill it up with warm water, and then you reveal the girl that you get. I'm hoping that today we get the uh, the black and white girl. That seems to be everybody's um, the desirable one. She seems to be the more common one, which I guess makes sense. I don't. I didn't, I didn't even look to see what the what the what the age target was, but unicorns are hot right now for girls. So let me uh, take her out put water in and we're gonna see who we got okay guys we're back with our water and our girls out of the bag so we're gonna dunk her in and see who we got you know I started to think after when I before I started this video I actually kind of want to buy one when they go on sale like if they ever go on clearance I kind of want to buy one and just never put her in the water just reveal her in her kit like have that be a display um, Kind of like so in the, throughout the years. I don't know how well the paint will, will hold up if it's still sealed and packaged. But I was thinking like throughout the years, people will under like kind of figure out like the color what the color reveal was. Like I can like remember. I don't know. I just think it would be a cool idea to have one just not just like once I get all five, you know. This process is so cool. This water is not as warm as it was in the last video, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. I think we got the orange hair girl. I don't know what bathing suit she's wearing though. I try not to pay attention too much to videos about things that I end up getting so that I can kind of have my own little surprise, you know? But it looks like she's got peach hair, actually. Peach. Oh, it's the panda girl! Oh. I don't know if Mommy's World watches my videos, but she's gonna be so mad at me. Because I think she's been wanting the panda girl. Is this the black and white one? I don't know. I really kind of like her bathing suit, though. All things considered. Considering I don't really like the uh, painted on clothing very much. I kind of like the, how that bathing suit looks. So let's see. I'm going to dry her off, guys. Pour this water out and we're going to check out her accessories. Alright, so here is our panda girl with uh, peach hair. It almost looks like she's already got some streaks in there. So I don't know if my water was a little bit too cold on the colder side or something. But uh, her eyes also look like they're more of a... I think her eyes are already colored too. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. I do notice that her complexion is a little bit darker than the last two girls that we... Uh, opened, not dark, like, as in, like, dark, dark, but, like, maybe tan, as in, like, been in the sun too long? I don't know. But, uh, we have a white, a pure white bathing suit with a panda face on there, as you guys can see. Panda face is done with the black ears and the black, you can see the black spots on the eyes and then the little pink tongue hanging out of his black nose face thing. I also wanted to say that I don't know if anyone mentioned it, but even though these bathing suits are basically molded on, 
They do have the seams. Like they're actually fabric, but they're not. Okay. So let's, hmm, what do we want to do next? She's got water in her and I don't like that. So we're going to have to do something about that later. I think it's coming out in places where it shouldn't. <laughs> so let's uh, see what our, should we color reveal her first? We might as well, right? Let's color reveal her first and then, oh wait, no, we have to find our sponge. Hmm. Okay. Is this it? Nope. This must be it. Feels like it. I wonder what our sponge looks like. Do they do different shaped sponges for every one of them? Oh, she has a bow! Hers is a bow sponge. That's cool. So we have a bow sponge, a heart sponge, and a, a star sponge? So let's see. Still got some ice water over here. All right, guys, I had like a little incident with her, with her filling up. She had a lot of water in her. And I think why she did was because I, after I took her out of her uh, little container unit over here, I noticed that she still had some stuff on her head. So I took her and I dumped her in like this instead of like this. And I think somehow the water got up into her head. And... It, I think I got it out now, though, but I, I think um, I recommend if you are going to dunk her in again, keep dunking her in this way. I might just have a flawed one that doesn't have enough, uh, like, air holes in the body to let the water out, but I think we're good. I don't want to leave air, like, any water in there, because that's just going to cause mold, and I don't want, I don't like, nobody likes moldy dolls. At least I don't. <laughs> mold is not good. All right, so let's move on. This is probably going to be her wig here. So her wig is a really beautiful black and white wig. And I'm really, it makes me sad that I can't use it on her. Because, I mean, I can, but it's going to irritate me. Uh, I think this is her dress. The weirdest thing is the last girl that I had had all these, like, pre-cut tear strips on all of her bags. And this girl didn't. Um, not a huge deal because I have, you know, strong hands so I can rip it open but just a observation and here is her skirt um black and white horizontal stripes here it's a really thick nice fabric here uh seams are done nice and tight i like it and then our last bag here is gonna have our shoes okay these are my favorite shoes so far in this series they don't have any paint detail on them, but you can see the the you can see that the texture detail is. There's three buckles to hold the shoe on, so you see you have one, two, three, in a row, and then there's some stars, some some studs that go on the toe, around the other side. These are nice boots. I like these. I would wear these. And they're reddish, orange. In case you guys didn't notice that. And here is the one and only time you will see her in her hideous helmet wig, which is sad to me because I really like the fact that it has a Cruella de Vil look. I love her outfit. I wish that her hair, her molded on hair, was like black with white streaks or white with black streaks. It would be awesome without the wig. But uh, they chose an odd peach color to be her underbase, which is not desirable, I think, with this outfit. And the shoes, I don't really know if I'd choose the red shoes with these either. Um, pink would be better because they would match the, the tongue on this one, but I, I guess it's whatever, right? I guess maybe those shoes kind of match her hair underneath, so let me just check her out again. Alright, so here she is without, without the wig. I think... Um... I still don't love the red shoes with them. I like the shoes as a whole, as they're my favorite shoes, but I would have preferred just a basic pair of black shoes. But um, that's her for you guys. That's pretty much all we have for you today. Um, I did want to also make a note 
that although our last two girls had different face molds, these two do. I examined them. Uh, they obviously have different paint colors, different hair colors, and different skin tones. But uh, their molds themselves are identical. I did the whole look. So, just just different face paint, which is is okay, I think. I'm hoping that we find another head mold, though, amongst the other two that we have from this series. That would be nice. <laughs> Alright, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.